Good morning, everyone. This is David Nguyen from Eyebrows Academy, the one-man microblading show on the web. Hey, today I'm going to show you some a short video on transition strokes. Why do we do transition strokes? Well, the whole idea of transition stroke is this. All right, let's quickly get to it. Okay, as you can see right here, I have the first brows. Yeah, point one, two, three. That's for the upper line, and then I have point four. Five, four, five, six, two, three, that's the lower line. Yeah, okay, so, so here's the idea. This is the head section right here, right? This is the head section right here, and I'm going to draw a vertical line down like this. You see, this is the head section. And then we have the body section right here. This is the body section, yeah. This is the body, and this is the head section, and this is the tail section, yeah. So after we're done with the head strokes, yeah, in previous two videos I show you the head strokes patterns, and now I'm going to show you how to go from head to body. Well, here's the main idea. In order to have a nice, beautiful, and graceful head strokes uh, area. You need to make sure that the last, the last head stroke. I'm sorry. In order to have a very nice area transition stroke right here, you need the last head stroke have to be at least 20 degrees. Okay, it needs to have 20 degree inclination. What do I mean by that? So I'm going to draw a horizontal line right here. You see that? So this is the vertical line right here. Right, and this is the horizontal line right here, and this angle right here is 90 degree. Right, so for our transition stroke, we need to achieve about 40 to 45 degree angle. This one about 45 degree angle. Okay, so the transition stroke that divide the lower area and the upper area need to achieve about 45 degree angle. And what do I mean by that? Here, let's say, okay, let's do one right here, okay? So, suppose I have a brow like this, and I'm going to do the first one. One, two, three, and then four. You see? These are my head strokes right here. Set one, set one right here, set two right here, set three right there, set four right there. And look at set number four. It already has some, it already, you know, instead of standing straight up like this, it's already bending to the right like that. So it has some angle right here. Yeah, it has some angle, okay? It has some angle right there. You see the angle here? That's the angle I'm talking about right here. Okay, if it's standing up too much, the transition stroke will look really, really bad. So the last head stroke, you need to achieve about 20 degrees. Okay, 20, 25 degrees, okay? And that would make our transition stroke way better. Okay, I'm going to do the transition stroke here. I do the basic one, yeah? One, two, and then three. You see how nicely they integrate? You see how nicely they integrate? What is the purpose of this one? What is the purpose of that? And what's the purpose of this? So the purpose of stroke number one here, now let's talk about number three right here. The purpose of transition stroke number three is to divide the brows into two sections. This is cone spy six. Right? So number three here divide this area beneath here for the lower stroke. Yeah. And it also divides the brows for this section right here for the upper stroke. See, you got that? Right? So a lot of masters and a lot of you taking classes from them, they say, oh, let's do one, two, three. But you have to ask the question, why are we doing that? 
Why do we need to do one? Why do we need to do two? And why do we need to do three? Yeah? Why wasting our time? See what I'm saying? You have to ask question. Why? 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 Why do you doing that? Why? And my answer to you is, we do transition stroke number three in order to divide the remainder of the brows into two sections. The lower for the you see the, this area down here for the lower stroke. You see the area beneath the, the spine, yeah. This is the spine right here. You see that? So that's spine six right there. So stroke number three help us draw the spine in order to divide the remainder of the brow into two sections. The one beneath here for lower strokes and the one up here for the upper strokes. And why do we need to do number one right here? Because number one will tell you what would be the next lower stroke, right? Where the lower stroke should have be heading. Okay, so this is the lower stroke right here. Just imagine you do number one like this. And now all subsequent stroke would go like that. And this look really bad. So that's the reason for number one. Number one have to be in certain angle so that subsequent stroke you would go in the right angle. Okay? And why do we have the number two right here? Because that will tell you where to begin the upper stroke. Yeah, the upper stroke has to start right there. Upper stroke has to start right here. Okay? You see what I'm saying? That's where the upper stroke should be. Okay? So the concept is the first the, the upper strokes have to have some angle, yeah? It has some inclination, yeah? It has some kind of, you know, mathematical uh, angle to it so that, you know, you, you make it look nice. So let me just recap this one because I have to go to work. All right. So here I'm going to do the transition stroke. Um, okay, let me make this one easier for you. Okay, I'm going to draw a spy, and in previous video you have already seen me. I draw this spy like this, very unconventional, very unconventional. Okay, I draw the spy like that. And here I do the lower stroke. Yeah, this is very much the. I'm sorry. This is the very much the very first transition stroke right here. One right here. Okay, and then for transition stroke number. I'm sorry. This transition stroke here. This is number one, right? That's number one. And then number two. I don't really care about number two, but here I just curve it here on top. And then number three, I just do like that, you see? So that's one, two, and three. So this one here, the way I do this one here, so that subsequent stroke is easier for you. You see what I'm saying? Subsequent stroke is easier for you. Okay, and here, you can do something like that. Just use your imagination, yeah? Do something like that, and here you start your upper stroke. You see what I'm saying? So do whatever way that you feel comfortable, okay? Do whatever way you feel comfortable, okay? Just like that, you see? And this area here, that's for the head stroke, yeah? You go back and you fill it up, okay? Whatever way you feel like it, you see? And here you can extend more stroke down here. Add some short one to it, you know? Extend it a little bit, you see? Whatever way you want to do, okay? You see that? Okay? But if you want to do the traditional way, you do the head stroke. One, two, three, four, and make sure the stroke number four here gives you some angle. And then you do the transition stroke in orange, yeah? Well, the carrier way for this lesson is that make sure, yeah? Make sure that your transition stroke give you some angle to, to work on, you know? To, to divide the brows into nicely, uh, the upper area and the lower area, the lower one for the lower stroke, the upper one for the upper strokes, yeah? Okay? Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'm going to make uh, probably one more video on transition stroke to show you some patterns, okay? But in this one, I just show you the concepts, yeah? Show you the concepts, 
okay and the concept here is that the last head stroke here you have to tilting it to the right to give the transition stroke some nicely inclination yeah to work with okay okay if your transition if your if your head stroke number four here just standing straight up like this and you in trouble you in trouble if you do the transition stroke that way yeah if the last head stroke standing up like this and then you do the transition stroke you will have a broken area so what i'm telling you is that the last head stroke have to be going this way if it's standing up too much you add some more head stroke to give you some angle and then you do the transition stroke and it look, would look more, more beautiful okay well thank you so much i hope you enjoy my videos and my name is david nguyen from eyebrowsacademy.com yeah thank you and goodbye